everybody, how's it going? I just wanted to come on and do a little slime tutorial for you guys today. I realized that I haven't done a slime tutorial with the new Unicorn Slime Science Kit. And so there are a few differences between the Slime Science Kit 2.0 and our original Unicorn Slime Kit and a couple of variations to the instructions. So I wanted to just come on and show you exactly how to make slime. Also a big thank you to everybody who purchased our Dinosaur Slime Science Kit. We are completely sold out of those now. So if you want to get on our pre-order list, do so at www.chachaandchicky.com. And we are taking pre-orders for spring break and summer right now. Subscribe and follow Cha Cha and Chicky for more fun recipes. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and check out all the giveaways and door prizes that we have going on. Okay, let's get started. So first of all, I wanted to let everybody know that our Unicorn Slime Science Kit and all of our slime accessories are compatible with Elmer's glue. So in each Slime Science Kit, we do include six bottles of 60 milliliters of clear glue, but people find that they go through those so fast because it's just so much fun making all the different types of slime and they don't know what to use afterwards. So all of our accessories are compatible with Elmer's glue. And I'm gonna show you that today by making a butter slime with the Elmer's glue. So we are going to pour into our bowls. And we are going to be using our saline solution activator and our baking soda. So I'm going to put in one scoop of our baking soda. And also another change with this slime kit is that you don't have to add water to the glue. We include it in there because there are different climates all over the world, obviously, some that are drier than others. So here in Canada, where we have crafted the Slime Science Kit, it's really dry. So I generally add water in because I feel like it gives our slime a little more elasticity. But some people down in the States like Florida, where it's really humid, they definitely find they don't need water. So I'm going to be making the slime today with the Elmer's without water, just to kind of show you the difference. So we've added the baking soda and we're going to stir it in until the baking soda is dissolved. Just like that. And I added in a double portion of glue. So I'm gonna add in two quarter teaspoons full of the saline solution. And now we're gonna stir. So I wanna show you guys that right away, you can start to see the slime coming together. And in our instructions, we say to stir for about three to five minutes. But you can see that generally you don't need that long. It starts to come together. But again, if you're in an area that's a little more humid, where there is a little more moisture in the air, you may need a little more time and a little more muscle to stir. But you can already see after just about 30 seconds, it's really starting to come together. So I'm gonna keep on stirring before I take the slime out of the bowl. All right, and so today, since we are making butter slime, one of the new recipes that we have actually calls for hand cream. So the hand cream that I find works the best is a body butter type of lotion. So I'm gonna use two scoops of, so two of the quarter teaspoons of body butter, and I'm gonna add it right into the basic slime recipe before I've added the clay. So one. Two. All right, so now I'm going to stir in the body butter to the slime. And during this part, you may notice that your, your slime may be a little more sticky or creamy. That is okay because when we're adding the clay, the clay is actually a dry ingredient, so it's going to pick up all that extra moisture, so no need to worry. And this Hand cream is actually vanilla flavored, so it smells delicious too. All right, you guys, we've mixed in our hand cream, so which kind of gives it a buttery feel already. 
It is a little bit sticky still, as you can see. So that is okay. So if you don't wanna take it out of the bowl at this point, you don't have to. We can leave it in as we mix it. The slime is all coming together. Comes right out of the bowl now. So kind of the rule of thumb is the more you mix with your hands, the less sticky it will become. So at this point, we're gonna mix it for a couple more seconds, and then we're going to add in our clay. I'm actually gonna be using the green clay that I had left from the Dinosaur Slime Science Kit. It's the last green clay. So you guys are gonna to get to have some really cool green butter slime today. So I'm just warming it up in my hands a little bit and then we are going to put it right into the slime here. So I'll lift it up so you guys can see it a little bit better. All right, so we've added in the clay and now we're just gonna go back and forth like this until it gets all mixed in. And you can also add in any other accessories if you'd like. We have glitter, we have foam balls, fishbowl beads. And if you have one of the Dinosaur Slime Science Kits, you will have all of the mini dinosaur figurines as well. And if you have the Unicorn Slime Science Kit, you will get the fun little unicorn heads that you can store the slime in also, which are great. All right, so you can see this is almost all mixed in now. And as you mix, the stickiness disappears. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. This is our butter slime. So fun to squeeze and play with. So there you have it guys, our butter slime with our unicorn slime science kit and our dinosaur slime science kit. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. And if you have one of our slime kits, subscribe and follow Cha Cha and Chicky for more fun recipes. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and check out all the giveaways and door prizes that we have going on. Have a great day, guys. Happy sliming.